everyone welcome back what we are going to learn in this video is how to set up Jenkins during EC2 instance launch itself using bootstrap script so if you look at my website or my YouTube channel uh, we have seen there are several ways you can uh, set up Jenkins so one of the common ways is you know you would be provisioning in EC2 instance and then you will be executing uh, commands uh, like this if you look at this instruction, this is how we have configured Jenkins earlier, right? So you will be provisioning EC2 instance and then you'll be logging in the EC2 instance and then you'll be installing Java, Maven, and then yeah, you will be installing Jenkins like this, right? So there are a lot of commands you will be performing after you provision EC2 instance and all, right? So we can completely avoid this by passing all these commands during the launch itself for example if you see here i have created a script so i'll be passing these uh, script during the launch itself right so that you know you don't have to execute uh, all these commands one by one right so that's exactly what we are going to learn in this short video so let's quickly go over the prerequisites uh, yes we need to have aws account and then we also need to have a script so I just already shown you the shell script, right? So this is a very sh simple shell script. Uh, this is going to install Java, it's going to install Maven, and then this is going to install uh, Jenkins. So we are going to pass the script during the launch itself, okay? And then as part of the demo, so yes, we are going to create an EC2 instance in AWS Cloud, and then under advanced details, user, da user data section, we are going to pass on that uh, script, and then we will launch that EC2 instance and then after we launch yes you know if you want to see what is happening right if you want to see the console output uh, after the launch so we should be able to see so that you know we can verify uh, the shell script execution is you know working fine or not or work fine or not and then after that we can verify if Jenkins is running or not right after we provision the EC2 instance awesome so let's get started so folks, this is my website, coachdevops.com. I will be posting the link right below the video as well. So I already explained to you about Bootstrap script, right? So while provisioning an EC2 instance itself, if you want to pass uh, some scripts, uh, which will be executed just only once, right? So during the launch itself, so that you, know, you don't have to uh, execute after that, right? So if you have a use case where you want to execute uh, some script during the launch itself, you can leverage a bootstrap script, right? So, so using this only, we are going to configure a Jenkins, okay? So let's get started. So we need to first create an EC2 instance. So let's uh, click on launch instance. I'm going to give Jenkins EC2 as a name and I'm going to use Ubuntu EC2 instance. Uh, let me select Ubuntu server 18.04. Let me select hero.small. I'm going to go ahead with my existing key. And we need to open port 8080 because that is the default port number for Jenkins. Perfect. Uh, I'm going to increase the root volume 15. Okay. All right. So you see here advanced details. So click on the advanced details link and scroll all the way down, you're gonna see a section called user data. There you go. So this is where we are going to pass on the shell script. So this is the shell script. So you can literally copy and paste, right? Just copy the entire script. And then you can paste that over here. So make sure, you know, you don't make any mistake here. Perfect. Okay, and then let's click on launch instance. So basically this is a summary, right? So we are creating one EC2 instance, Ubuntu 18.04. This is the instance type. Uh, and then the security group, right? And then this is our root volume, that's it. So click on launch instance. So basically what AWS is going to do, it is going to take that script. So while launching itself, it is going to go ahead and then execute uh, all the commands, uh, which, which are all part of the script, right? And then let's click on view all instances. There we go. 
So my EC2 instance is uh, up and running. So if you want to check the uh, console output, let's do one thing. Let's quickly connect to it. Okay, so I'm connected to my EC2 instance. If you want to see whether Java got installed, okay, so Java is not at installed. So it may be running right now. So we can actually check the console output um, under this particular path. So what AWS does, it, it writes the console output uh, under this particular file. So let me go ahead and then copy that command Let's execute that. There you go. So do you all see that? So right now it is in the process of, uh, I believe uh, it is, yeah, it is in the process of installing Java. Yeah, let me come out of it, okay? So I'm going to come off, uh, come out of it uh, and then let's quickly see. I know Java already got installed right now. It is installing Maven. There you go. And then Maven also got installed, correct? Uh, and then if you want to check the output, there you go. I think currently it is installing Jenkins as well. You can check uh, real quick if Jenkins is up and running by performing curl command. There you go. You see here? So we got some response. So if I go to the browser by copying the public DNS name, let me go to browser and then colon 8080. Wow, here we go. So that's our Jenkins, right? So I'm going to copy this script path. That's where the admin password is located, which is like a one-time thing. So copy that. Go ahead and then put that and then click on continue. And uh, go ahead and then click on install suggested plugins. There you go. Let's go ahead and then, let's go ahead and then create some uh, user, right? So I'm going to do everything as admin admin. I don't want to give any email address. There you go, guys. So that's it, guys, you know. So that's how you would set up uh, Jenkins using Bootstrap scripts in AWS Cloud. Thank you for watching this video.